hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be adding doors to our rooms and we're going to be adding some unique rooms like staircase rooms and maybe even special rooms at certain numbers so let's start so first we should actually start with our doors so let's go ahead and just put a door in each one of these frames and we can actually add a surface UGY to each one of those doors to label the number. So I'm just going to make this right here. Just going to make this a nice little door and we can add in a another part into this door. Actually, I'm just gonna duplicate the door itself. And I'm just going to make it into a little place for the door number to stay inside of make it golden or a more yellow tinted color and then I can add a surface GUI and a text label and then just some simple rescaling change the size to one something like that I'm going to change the size I'm just going to change it to door zero or door one actually and just put some random font this one seems good get rid of its background by setting its background transparency giving it a stroke and that seems to be good for now and you may set the transparency of the end and start points on both of these rooms or your rooms to one as we don't need to have to see, we don't need to be able to see them we just need them to be there so now I'm gonna put this door I'm gonna rename this to door and put this part inside of the door extra door part and then I'm going to put this in the room one and then I'm gonna do the same thing for door two or room two just like that and something I will do is I'm going to rename the front walls as I'm going to make them a little bit larger so there's no gaps in the walls. I don't know why I named that plurally. So something like this. Just so when this spawns in there's going to be no gaps like there was in the last episode in this corner. So I'm going to go ahead and find this wall. Make it a bit longer. A gap would not be too nice in a game like this so somebody can't just glitch out maybe get to another door that they're not meant to get to so I'm gonna put this up a storage for now and now in our script we're gonna go new room and inside of our rooms we have our door so we're gonna do new room dot door and then we're gonna actually do wait for child door and then wait for child surface GUI and once that exists, we're going to do dot text label dot text equals and then we can have our door in all capitals just like normal. And then our continuation and we're going to do number of in game doors minus one. So you do not have to subtract one. The reason I'm subtracting one is because this counts as door one. And if you don't want the next door to say door two on it then just add the subtract one but if you're fine with the next door saying door two then you can keep that so what this is doing is waiting for the door inside of our new room to be loaded in and then waiting for the surface GUI in that door to be loaded in then we're gonna get the text label and the surface GUI we're gonna change its text to door and then a space and we're gonna continue and we're going to add the number of in-game rooms so let's say there's 25 in-game rooms then it's going to be 25 minus 1 which will be 24 and that should change the text on the door now always make sure you publish the game because if you do not publish the game or at least save the game after you make a major change just in case something goes wrong oh I did not anchor these I should probably do that going to anchor both doors inside of the rooms so let's go ahead and load this in this actually might be yeah, this door is actually 
zero and then as you can see the next one is one so we can remove that minus one in this case and for now inside of the doors we won't be doing any special tweening or any animations yet or actually yeah let's keep this as we touch it and the door will disappear so script.parent.touched make sure you add a server script inside of the door we're just going to rename this open door script.parent.touch connect function hit and then local player equals game get service players get player from character hit dot parent basically this is getting when the part is touched or the script's parent is touched which is the door and then we're going to connect it to a function and we're going to pass hit hit is going to be whatever actually touched the part now we're going to make a variable we're going to get a service that's in the studio called players and we're going to use this function get player from character and then the hits parent should be so let's say if the player hits the door with their leg then the parent of the leg is the character so we're going to be able to get the player from character that way and we're going to make sure it is the player so if it's not nil and it is actually the player then we're just going to do script up parent destroy so we're just going to destroy the door so let's go ahead and try this out. Let this load up. In a future video, we're gonna polish everything. We're gonna redesign some stuff. Oh, the door does not seem to be opening. I might have put that in the wrong thing. Or I might have not put that in every door actually. Yeah, I forgot to copy and paste the script and put it inside of the other door. So now we can load the game back up once again and we should be able to walk through all of our doors. So register me touching it. As you can see, this is door two. This is door three. I'm not sure why it's not registering me touching it. I might've put this in this gold part of the door actually, which I did not mean to do if I did. But as you can see, door five, this is door six. And then this should go all the way until door 50. So I'm just going to real quick check if this extra door part is actually the wrong thing. So we put this in the workspace. And we hit the door. And the extra door part. Oh yeah, I named these backwards. You might want to put the open door in the extra door part. Or whatever, whatever part is the main part of the door. I accidentally put those backwards but it's fine so we're gonna put that in replicated storage and now we're in replicated storage we're gonna make a new folder which is gonna be called special rooms so with our special rooms I'm gonna go ahead and put this folder in workspace or actually we can keep this in replicated storage now we can make well a special room so we can copy our room one which should be our most basic room and put it into workspace as a reference so this is what our special doors are gonna be like door 50 and doors and door 100 they're always the same and they're always a unique type of door so what we can do is design this door however you like what I'm going to do is just make it a little bit bigger maybe change the color if I can find the walls or the floor just something like this and I'm going to put, I'm going to expand this a lot longer. And then grab these walls and just put them to the side, something like this. Make the floor maybe a bit longer. Should probably name all of the parts. So I'll name this floor just so it's a bit easier to change things around. I'm going to make this over here, make this over here, make sure it's lined up, oh this isn't, and this is what our special room is going to be, and I guess just to make it a little bit more different, I'm going to make it like a darker gray color, probably just something like this, so this is going to be, let's say room, or yeah this will be room 10. Just for this video, we're going to keep it room 10, or let's just make it room 15. Room 15 is just going to be this big gray 
box room. So now we can put special rooms inside of replicated storage. And I'm actually going to put set rooms back here. And I want to rescale the walls once again, just make them longer. I might interact with the other ones. I'm going to put the doors something like this. So it's a little bit easier to change the models. Just going to rename all of these to the front walls so it's easier to expand them. And I'm just going to make them pretty long. Something like that. And that should work. So now I'm going to put back the set rooms in here. And now we can get with our special doors. So in our loop, we can do an if statement. So we should go back a little bit and do if in game rooms or if number of in game rooms is equivalent to 15 then and we're going to do an else and in our else we can already make our new room we can select our room basically we're just going to put all of this stuff inside of our new if statement just like this but if the room is 15 then we can keep our similar variables down here like so you can copy these and paste these over here to copy quicker you can press ctrl v after selecting it or ctrl c to copy and ctrl v to paste or you can right click and hit paste or copy so we're going to check if the number of in-game rooms is 15 and if it is 15 we're going to add a special door which is going to be our big room or yeah, room and if it's not we're going to do everything else that we did before which is just to set all of the data or make a new random door from one of these not so special doors so we can change this new room to local special room equals game dot replicated storage dot special rooms and we should probably turn this into a variable up here so at the top we can do local special rooms equals game dot replicated storage dot special rooms and we're going to do wait for child special rooms just for safety and now we can do local special room equals special rooms wait for child and then whatever you name the, the room which in this case is room 15 so we're making a variable called special rooms. We're going into our special rooms variable up here, which is actually the special rooms folder. And we're gonna get room 15 if the number of in-game rooms is equivalent to 15. And now we can just change new room and new room here to special room. And this should be our room done. We should actually rename special room special room dot name equals 15 and we don't have to do any like using or something we, don't, we did down here with the name having to be a number plus another number and whatever we can just set it to 15 as that's going to be this but actually just in case there are any bugs we're just going to set this to to string number of in-game rooms plus one which once again this is changing this into a string which is basically a text something like this in quotations and this is converting this number into a text and then we're going to set special room dot parent equals rooms or already rooms and that should be our special room completed so i'm going to go ahead and save the game just in case anything goes wrong as usual so let's see here. so if we load up into the game we have our very long walls and now when we touch the door yep and it does not remove that but you can fix that later so yeah this looks very weird but usually we would have a roof in a doors game so what i'm going to do is i'm going to set my humanoids speed to 50 just so we can get through these doors a bit quicker 
just to get to door 15, which should be our gray box of room. I might not have actually moved the endpoint, which my bad if I did not, so the room might have actually glitched. Yeah, as you can see, this room is in the middle, but as you can see, door 15, and it is our gray room. And let me real quick just move this piece right here. The end point always make sure you move the end point to the end as it's meant to be there just like that make sure it's aligned as well as it can be put this back into replicated storage save the game one final time this should be the final thing and we should have our unique room added so i'm just going to open the door and set my speed to 50 so I can get down this hallway quicker. And let's get down to door 15. Almost there. And as you should see, the door should be the same as the last game, which is a big gray box as that is what we assigned it to. As you can see, door 15. And we have ourselves our gray room. So that's how you can have more unique rooms inside of our game or and we can have doors and to have the number of door on the front of the door so hopefully you enjoyed this video and hope it helped yeah see ya